Welcome to my channel, The Creative Woman, and December 2020's monthly for uh, Libra general reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. Okay, and what came out for you, Libra, with my uh, Sacred Geometry Activation cards is the Frequency Realization, and it's number 37. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth as well as, as the external process of becoming our highest expression in the world. And it seems to me another sign this month got, got this card as well, I think. I don't know who. Okay, so Libra, you take a look at that as long as you feel necessary. This will assist um, opening up your subconscious. Stop the video if you feel necessary to do that. Okay. Okay, and then what came out from my Love and Light cards is number 20, and it's Soul Writing. And this is Sacred Geometry and a Light Activation Code. So you can look at that. Beautiful, just magnificent cards. And this also works on your subconscious. stop the video if you need to. Okay then, you got three. You had three jump out from my astrological deck. So the first one is the second house and the second house has to do with the sign Taurus and that's the natural house of Taurus and the planet Venus. And so that has to do with your self-worth, that has to do with finances, that has to do with your values. Um, okay, and then Libra, you jumped out. So that has everything to do with balance, balancing, uh, harmony, peace and harmony, and and seeking that in within yourself and within all of your relationships and in your environment. Okay. And then the 12th house came out. So anything that's hidden in your subconscious that has been blocking you from being your true self. That's so all three of those things are are essential and that's what is is happening and awakening uh, you this from now, which it is the 29th of November through December 2020. And so, yeah, and again, with this 12th house, anything that's stopping you from your power, draining your power, or blocking your true power and security and who you are. Okay, so let me, it's a packed full. Let me check and see what comes out first before we start the tarot. Okay, so to me, this soul writing card and your 12th house, to me, this and all of these cards actually are, are cooperative. But these two very connected. And to me, that is saying right now you are being sparked. You are being ignited to um, and desiring or having a determination to dig into yourself, your true self, your soul writing, what what's written for you in the stars, what um, who you truly are, what your destiny is, going beyond 
the program and the subconscious programming of the 12th house of that we were all we have uh, everything that we came in with at our time exact time of birth has everything to do with what was programmed into us and from the stars the energies that are and frequencies coming to us from astrology the stars and our familial ancestral stuff that wasn't taken care of from our parents grandparents great-grandparents or all the way back who knows how far so um, and in astrology the only way I know how to get into that subconscious to see what you were pre-programmed with or each one of us was pre-programmed with our personal work is our north and south nodes of the moon and in your natal wheel and to me the 12th house and the soul writing coming out is is talking exactly about that you're wanting to or having the chance to now dig into that and find that personal programming that you were born with digging into that your north and south nodes of the moon so again if you have your natal wheel available look at that the sign and the house that they are in and research that research that because that's going to open up consciously what's hidden in your subconscious that's been blocking you and will keep blocking you from your true self from your destiny um anyway so it's very big very deep and again once you unlock that bring that out into your conscious then you can start taking care of that and reach your highest expression of yourself in the world in your destiny and be helping many 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 souls besides just yourself and your family too your ancestry so okay and there's your deepest value which is yourself your highest um, your highest self your self-worth your highest you want to reach that you're 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 seeking that now you're starting this journey Libras again Libra your own card came out so some of you might have many planets or um, several significant planets in Libra so I would definitely look at that and um, also because of this Gemini full moon on November 30th tomorrow and then the opposite sign Sagittarius new moon December 14 that could be igniting something inside you and especially if you have any natal planets in Gemini in Sagittarius north and south knows the moon as well or squaring either of those Gemini or Sagittarius which would be Virgo planets or Pisces planets you want to take a look at all of those if you have any planets or um, south and north node definitely look into the, all of those all of those they are very significant for you and that is what your higher self is what I'm seeing is um, your new beginnings for some of you to to delve into your soul writing what was written in the stars in astrology the stars for you specifically okay that's beautiful that's beautiful and if any of you have any questions and you want your natal wheel done or you have just general questions or you want um, your north and south notes of the moon I would be happy to do them for free give you a written and a little video I do have a book on north and south nodes of the moon karmic astrology by Ma Martin Schulman which I recommend he's the best so far that I have ever found and I've been in uh, researching my not my own self for 25 years so I've been 
um, an astrologer for 25 years. Whoops. Okay. All right. It's almost 25 years. <laughs> Come right around close to that. So anyway, questions, comments, I would love to hear from you. I will leave all that information in the description box below. Okay. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. Big, big stuff for Libra this month and onward. It's just an ever-expanding time and thing to, for you to look into and to start discovering about yourself. Okay. And now is the time, Libra. Now is the time. And maybe some of you have been doing that. You will be reaping the rewards of that transformative process you've been going through. So let's see more details. More details for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South nodes of the Moon. Okay. Tortoise, okay. Home is where the heart is. Okay, I just got, that is absolutely correct. And what just struck me for you Libras, home is where the heart is. Your soul writing. Who you truly are. Being able to be at home with who you truly are. Finding out about you. Getting out all of those 12th house secrets. Subconscious secrets that... Secrets meaning, they don't have to be big bad secrets either. It's not necessarily that. It's something that is hidden in your subconscious that you cannot, no, not one of us can automatically or are going to automatically know what's in our subconscious, what was programmed in our subconscious. And that's where our south and north nodes of the moon for all of us are. And so you have to dig them out. But if you don't know where to go, if you don't know how to do that, you can't. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to say there is a way and it's through astrology. That's the only way I know of through your, your natal wheel, your north and south nodes of the moon, and then all of your planets and the houses that, they, that, that they're in. That's it. That's, that's the unlocking and that's freeing every single one of us so there you go Libra and that's where you will find your home in your heart in, in you who you truly are okay that is just very beautiful and it is and you all are very beautiful Okay, let's see what else comes up for Libras. Sun, moon, rising, north and south nodes of the moon. For Libra, for December, now through December. What else can I tell them? Okay, let's see here. Okay, the magician, the raven. Some of you might be seeing ravens. It might be your spiritual animal for some of you. And some of you might be uh, receiving the physical manifestation of what you have been working on, Libras. Now through any time in December and beyond too. It's going to be different for all of, all of you because you're at different parts of your journey. And some of you could be beginning manifesting. And I just got new beginnings too for some of you. And to me, there's the Wheel of Fortune behind, uh, I don't know if you can see that. That looks like the Wheel of Fortune to me. It reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune that's behind the raven, encircling the raven. So 
that to me is forward motion, is new beginnings, is stepping into your power for some of you, sp stepping into your magical abilities, your, your alchemists, which we all, I believe, have that ability. We just don't know that. Well, some of you could be, um, that's what you are finding out about yourselves or you have found out and you've been um, working through that and now you're going to see some magic that you, from your hard work, that you have, that's going to be coming in, physically coming into your life, into your environment and enriching you in some way. Again, it's going to be different for all of you because you're, um, you're manifesting different things. Beautiful, whatever it is, though. And you're going to be very thankful and grateful. It's going to change your world for some of you. Your direction in life for some of you. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and I just got two for some of you. It's going to enable you to have that courage, to have that um, willpower. Okay, I was just drawn to this word willpower on the Magician card here. It's going to give you the willpower to be able to delve where you were too fearful before. To delve into yourself through astrology specifically for some of you okay. you're gonna to get to take advantage of that now and you're gonna be freed it's it's facts change feelings facts change feelings and oh it's it's awesome it's awesome you're gonna gain strength too you just got the strength card again willpower strength to face yourself head on and there was another I just did recently another uh, sign that got a similar thing where they're di digging deep into themselves I think it was Aries Aries so if you have any air Aries in your chart that's also fire you might want to take a look at that reading too for December for some of you if that rings because there were some similarities here of digging deep into your subconscious and and gaining having the strength to do that now and um, overcoming those fears of of astrology specifically and in your north and south nodes of the moon and just going for it and that's what I see you doing Libras absolutely and ah, oh, Aries is the opposite. It's your opposite sign, Libra. Okay, so yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely uh, listen to Aries as well. Okay. Yeah, that's you're stepping into your power. You're and the farther you go, the more you find out astrologically about yourself through your natal wheel and your north and south nodes of the moon. It just makes you stronger. Yep. Yep. And then you get more and more courageous. And then you are, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable, Libras. Okay. Okay. Let's I've got two that are wanting to come out. Okay. Let's do those two. Okay, and then we will. Okay, so line strength. Yes, yeah, so it's giving you the strength. This will, will give you the strength as soon as you are start delving in to yourself and and the your subconscious. You're going to be able to. It's the page of swords. You're going to be able to. Um, let go of things that aren't serving you. People, places, events, beliefs, circumstances. And start something brand new. 
Okay, now this is just this just came to me. This is for somebody. I'm not sure what it means, but maybe the person that it's for. Cats. This is the cat. Cats have nine lives. And this this is specific for someone. Cats have nine lives, and so do you. This is again, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, this is very specific, but maybe, maybe one of you or a couple of you Libras have come into many different circumstances throughout your life that that puts you in a life or death situation and that you you survived it. Um, and so it's like <laughs> You have nine lives. You like the cat. And I just got two. Maybe some of you were born in the year of the Chinese sign cat. So you might want to check that out too. Nine lives. There you go again. Wow. And then, then another, another possibility is that some of you could be, um, your life path could be a number five. And fives, you are just, you're easily changed, changeable, so you can transform many different times throughout your life. Again, nine different lives. So, okay, anyway, that was very, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, and then I just, um underneath it says like cats can they always land on their feet so you whatever you've been through you will always land on your feet and you will be strengthened and increased every single time whatever situation or um, yeah yeah you know trying situation um, that you find yourself in. Yeah, that's that's really good. Okay, and maybe some of you are coming back from a trying situation recently. Well, you're springing back or you will. Yeah, and again, for some of you um, that are just that don't know this, that look, if you're still in the bad situation, still in the uh, negatives, the bad feelings, the depression, the sadness, whatever it might be, fear, whatever, um, of that destructive event or circumstances that you might find yourself in still, when you're able to, Find out, look and see through that terrible situation or event or whatever it is. Find what positive thing, what you learned, what you gained from that. And there you go. There is your strength. And you've just flipped the, the feelings to your favor, to a positive. Facts change feelings. And then you can you can move forward then and then you are thankful for that whatever that situation was or is because you gained something that you couldn't have gained otherwise a deeper knowing a deeper part of yourself it opens something up for you and maybe once you start i just got once you start looking into your natal wheel oh maybe some of you have and then you find it right there you find that that makes sense to you and you understand now why you went through that or what why you drew that um, experience to you. And it's absolutely refreshing and it's absolutely empowering then. It empowers you, it strengthens you. There, uh, you find your magic. So that's how you're finding your magic. Turning that 
negative situation into a positive. That's, that's alchemy right there. Very, very cool. Okay, and then, okay, lastly we have the hanged man. So, let me just sit here again. Oh, wow. I'm being drawn to, this is a bat hanging down, upside down, like bats do. But this specific picture of a bat, he is transparent. I can see his veins. I can see his little bones. That's what you're going for. Transparency. You're digging into yourself so that you can be transparent to yourself and to the outer world. Everything, once you get through this process of digging deep into your soul, specifically into your north and south nodes of the moon and your planets and all and how all the energies that were coming to you at your birth, you are not just going to be transparent and open and free and be able to be naked, so to speak, to the whole world, not just to yourself, but the whole world. That's freedom. That is ultimate freedom. That's where you're headed. Look at this bat. But you have to dig in there. And again, you don't, if you don't know where to look, or until you know how to get into your subconscious, you can't. Now you do. Now you do, Libras. That is just beautiful. And again, maybe some of you have already been doing that, and so you know what I am talking about. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Okay. All right, let me... Let's do some clarifying with this other tarot deck and see what else comes out for you, Libras. What other information? That is, wow. Transparency. That's what you're going for. That's what you expect in others, too. So how could you, you, you must have that in yourself before, um, before you can expect that in others. And if you expect that in others, you are expecting that in your, in your own self, too. So I just heard you feel, some of you can be falling short to your own expectations. And, um, yes. Wow. And again, it's saying facing darkness, facing darkness, this bat. <laughs> Self-surrender. Prophetic powers also could be coming out, but there we are again, facing darkness, your own personal 12th house subconscious. Wow. And then for some of you, you'll be able to teach others, you'll be able to pass this information on to others who desperately need it, need, need to be able to, to know how to unlock their their secret doors too so that they can be their authentic self transparent no fears no hiding anything there's it's not necessary and it isn't it isn't so okay let's see what else okay what else for libras sun moon rising North or south nodes of the moon. What else? What other details can we tell them? What do they need to know? Okay. Cool. All right, we've got hangman twice. Okay, so that is doubly, doubly to me that's saying this is your time. This is your time to absolutely dig in to yourself and expose everything 
that you don't know that's happening and going on that's take it because until we can bring that out into our conscious then it's con that's what's controlling you and you don't know it none of us know it in fact so don't don't feel bad at all not at all because you have to know how to unlock the you have to know that first anyway but now you do so now you can start that venture hmm that's beautiful yep and that opens up it's gonna open up your all of your chakras but your um, expanded universal consciousness it's gonna open you up your to your higher self your higher self gonna bring new beginnings new things into your environment new tangible um, positive things for you things that are best for you that assist you in continuing to to walk forward and again here again page of swords you have two pages too pages it's in a it's an awakening time an awakening time um page of swords too which is to me finding out who you are finding out who you are who you truly are and who you're not and cutting away what is not you Allowing you to get out of confusion, to have clarity in your thinking in in every way, in every way, this page of swords. And for some of you, with this hangman I'm getting too, you might need to spend some time just with yourself. With yourself. Again, digging digging deep into you. Yeah, just private time. Uh, some of you might have to do that in secrecy. I just got to. It's for somebody. And that's all right. That's all right. Because um, maybe your family um, wouldn't understand, um, you know, whatever it is, but don't feel bad don't feel bad but you have to keep but you're keeping it to yourself this inner going inward okay it, and it will your self-worth definitely will increase value you will value the second house you, you will value you, Libra, on a much deeper level than you're able to right now. Much deeper level. And it'll keep, as soon as you start this process, it will. And it'll keep increasing as you keep continuing to go further and further, deeper and deeper, until you uncover everything. Beautiful. It's beautiful. New beginnings. And again, maybe some of you are already doing that. And so you're going to be starting your new beginnings. And, of course, wherever you are in this um, process of your uncovering your you, uh, you're going to be have new beginnings on the way. You're, you're going to transformational, you know, and some of you again like this nine lives you're gonna have many many transformational points on this journey and again maybe some of you've already had some um, it's just gonna be different for you just put that in your situation your situation okay let's see is there anything else yep six of pentacles 
will make you more abundant. Six of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. And to me, that was saying um, uh, your abundance is going to grow through time, through opening these things up for yourself. So in abundance, that's many things for different people, you know. So whatever abundance is for you. Okay, is there anything else for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, north or so. Oh, okay. Knight of Cups. Yes, okay. Knight of Cups. Emotional stability. Gonna gain emotional stability. So, with yourself, a deeper emotional bond with you and connection with your emotions expanded thinking too I just got so yeah with so you're gonna see things in a different light you're going to feel things you're going to maybe some of you again expand your your um, your psychic abilities your intuition as you clear away the blockages, you just, the sky's the limit for you, Libra. Your cup becomes full. And for some of you, messages could be coming in from now through December too, which will assist you on this path of self-discovery. Yes, yes. And I just got to some of you might, might um, feel the need to do a cleansing. Cleansing of your body, of your... Even I got fasting. You might want to look into that. That resets our clocks, our systems in a good way. And it helps to, to cleanse out the impurities, the blockages, the toxins, whether it's energetic or it's physical toxins that we have received throughout the years of eating and just breathing the air, especially what's been going on, what's coming out, the truth coming out about all those things anyway. So but you can look into that if that sounds... Um, right for some of you and maybe some of you have already done that or already decided to do that it's a very 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 good thing and also some of you too uh, might want to become aware of because water is not all waters are alike if you're drinking city water I would definitely investigate into that because you're you're drinking a lot of bad stuff besides chlorination and different kinds of pharmaceutical pills that you have no idea and so you're going to want to um, check into water and how water holds energy too and you can just check into that um, it can hold loving energies or it can hold destructive energies. And that does, does make a difference in what type of water you're drinking. So if that sounds right and you feel you need to do that, definitely do that. Definitely do that. Okay. Is there anything else for Libra? Sun, moon, rising... North or south nodes of the moon. For Libra. Libra. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem. 
going to be anything else. So that is all I have for you, Libras. So I am wishing you well and good for you being courageous and strong and bold to dig into you, deeply into you and unblocking those subconscious, whatever's in your subconscious that's, that's stopping you and your north and south points of the moon. Oh, that you are gonna, if you choose to do that, you are going to be so happy you did. Happy you did. Okay, so until next time.